All right, looking ahead on Arts Avenue, we are joined by David Flores, the director of First Stage's show, La Llorona. David, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. Now, this, uh, the name is pretty powerful. Uh, it actually reminds me of something that I feel like I learned in uh, elementary school. Is this a folklore? It is a folk tale, okay. and it's very famous, um, La Llorona, throughout the Americas and the rest of the world. Lots of iterations in film and television and music. So what themes does it explore? What can people experience as they go see it? Well, a couple of things. One is it's set on Halloween. So there are scary stories from various folk traditions, the Americas, Europe, and Africa, um, and thunder and lightning and eerie music and all of that. But it's really about friendship about growing up and looking forward to, but being a little afraid of the future and still sort of holding on to nostalgia for the past. So it's a, an experience that all generations have gone through. Okay, I see someone in the Bucks uniform. Can you talk a little bit about that? What is that part about? Oh, well, that's one of the great um, uh, uh, costume elements from the play. Um, as I said, it's set on, um, uh, Halloween. Uh -huh. So we have someone gotcha. dressed as someone famous from the Bucks <laughs> and um, some other figures that will be very familiar to viewers. Okay, so you know when you translate the title it means the weeping woman. Can you kind of explain to people who may not know the background? Sure. Um, as I said, it's a centuries old story from uh, Latin America about a woman who experiences tragedy in her life and she's sort of doomed to walk the earth trying to get resolution um, to the horrible things that have happened to her. And as she does so, she kind of lures people mm. and kind of captures them. Got you, got you. Okay, so we are going to have more information, of course, about this show and find, of course, a full interview on our website on WISN.com. Streaming starts October 30th, and it's recommended for age 12 and older.